Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Welcome to Kowloon. This is a $7 indie horror game on Steam, and I thought I'd check it out, because it looked kind of cool. But, um, yeah, so we're a student here, looking for cheap housing, I see. So Kowloon is an actual place, or was an actual place, Kowloon the Walled City. Uh, it was a very densely populated area, like I said. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I know some, like, really basic information. Uh, I think they've done a pretty good job so far of capturing what it looked like. I assume this is going to be a fictionalized version of Kowloon, though, where there's, uh, monsters and ghosts or something. So, one of the developers of this game, there's, like, four of them, according to the Steam store page. One of the developers is, um, the developer of the game From the Darkness. Uh, which I didn't have a very favorable opinion of when I played it. I thought it was kind of... Plain, um, but I was in the minority on that because there were so many youtubers out there that thought said it was like the scariest game They've ever seen in their entire lives. So what do I know? But uh, yeah, I just figured I'd mention that uh, I think one of the other four developers also has like at least one game under their belt, but uh, I'm not familiar with the other three Okay, we're we'll go in here. It looks like a small back room. Yeah, nothing gets past you, huh? Anything to interact with, or... Look, let's check out these books. One of them's just called Theory. And it's by Tom Hardy. Theory of what? I don't know. It's just, it's a, it's a gigantic theory. It's like the biggest book on the shelf. <laughs> Besides, You Know My Name by Michael Spencer. How to Grow Super Trees. You really think whoever's living in this... In this place right here is gonna wanna grow super trees? Cause I don't know about that. How are these cables going through concrete? Okay, yeah, they just go through the concrete. That's very impressive. Very strong cable. <gasps> Doggo. Too bad about the dog. He must be hungry. Oh, don't do this. To Too bad about the dog. What well, can we feed it? it? My new mission is to obtain dog food. For the not real dog here that I suddenly care about. Ew, what a smell. Nightclaw. Trash. Yes, there is trash here. I like how they wrote the word trash on the door. This is actually, I'm already seeing a lot of similarities between this game so far and From the Darkness. I remember, I, I, I think the title of my video for that was like, Jump Scare Simulator number 571 or something like that. And I got some, I got some annoyed comments about it. Oh, he says it's jump scare simulator, but there weren't that many jump scares actually. I don't know, man. It's just a title. Have the word jump scare in the YouTube video. I think there were jump scares though, or else I wouldn't have said that. Doesn't he have anything better to talk about? You might say the answer is no. I, I've been through so many empty dark hallways. There's really nothing left to speak about. I left. I put the key in the store. It's outside by the entrance. Okay, so I guess we turn around and we go... We go get the key? Oh boy, alright. Well, here I go then. Surely we won't encounter anything on the way back. Did I, did I hear a little... I thought I heard a little, like, ghost girl sobbing or something. Did I make that up? Oh, Doggo's happy now. Somebody gave Doggo food. <gasps> no. Oh. I wish we could give you food. Oh my God. More effort went into animating this dog than anything else so far. And they know it. They're playing me. I'm being manipulated. This place is filthy. Yeah, Sherlock. You're in Kowloon. You didn't know that about it? All right, let's go outside, I guess, and... They said by the store? There's a key. Okay, and if we find any dog food, that's really what I'm looking for. Quiche me. I'm looking for dog food. This appears to be the store the landlady wrote about. Ah, we found one store, so it must be the store. The key should be around here somewhere. 
Secrets next for Doggo. I picked it up. Okay, we've unlocked the good ending now. We don't have to worry about the bad ending anymore. We've got it under wraps. Oh, here, here's the key. Nice. Does it say anything on it? No, nope, it's just an unlabeled key. Okay, now we go back all the way up the stairs. Was I supposed to see something? I guess I just... Because if there was something over there, you know, the gameplay, like, leads you back this way, so it wouldn't make sense for there to be something over there. Maybe it was just a glitchy sound effect. I'm gonna start shifting everywhere. Can I please die? Please kill me. I'd rather die <laughs> than go through whatever is waiting for me. Let's feed the dog. Yeah? I got an achievement. Love for animals. You know what? This dog doesn't look that skinny. Look at this guy. This this is a hefty, hefty boy. He looks well fed. Alright, well we got the key, so let's go. I guess that's it. Uh oh, red blinking light. Oh, that means horror is about to begin. Here we go. Ready for a jump scare or a loud sound effect? Maybe just an appearance, somebody walking around the corner? Locked door, then I turn around, somebody's there. Who knows what could happen? Wait, uh... Excuse me. Wait, we were we were here earlier. Oh no. Oh, it's doing that thing. Let's do it. Do it. So do we go down to the darkness or? Oh no, we can't. See, there's the dog. Okay. So the stairs got blocked at some point. Right here, here, here. Okay. I forgot where we were going. Okay, we've unlocked it. Now what? Oh, good lord. Will you come on? All right. I got an achievement. Home sweet home. Find your new place to live. Have we already found it? Is it this? You know, this place isn't as crowded as I thought it would be. I was reading that Kowloon had a, um, a population of about 50,000 people. And the city itself was about 25,000 square meters. So you do the math on that. I'm guessing this is the landlady's room. It doesn't seem as densely populated as I thought it might be though, in this game. I'll start by leaving my stuff on the bed. Well, can you open this door or not? Okay, you can't open that door. All right, we'll leave the stuff on the bed. That's two people per square meter. I can't wait for a hot cup of tea. Okay, um, I guess we'll go, we'll go make that, yeah? Look at all the plants, dude. Hello. Tons of plants here, creating oxygen for us. Um, okay, I'm making tea. Click to make tea. Okay. We've done it. We've made tea. I got an achievement for that. Tea party. Do we just stand here and drink the tea from start to finish? Who does that? Who makes tea and then just stands there and slurps it down? Without, without going anywhere else? You don't want to sit on the stool. You don't want to sit on the chair. You don't want to look out at Kowloon, the walled city. You just stood there by the counter and just guzzled it down and then you didn't even put the plain white mug in the sink and wash it you're just gonna leave it on the counter for someone else to do it i think it's time to go to my room oh is that what you think huh okay fine yeah, let's let's go to bed oh my gosh it's open it wasn't open earlier oh we found something 
I'm scared. I want to go home. The old woman's gone crazy. I haven't even been able to go outside for a long time. What, the landlady? Hey, I closed this door. It's open now. What a load of crap, but it's worth checking the front door just in case. What do you mean? Oh, it's locked now. Okay, so somebody locked me in. Looks like the landlady has already come home and locked up the apartment. I like how the lock, I can't believe this, the lock has the word logo on it. Now, I don't know for sure, but that would indicate to me that the developer has a pre-made asset here of a lock and it's got like some standard logo thing on it that just was never removed. Cause it's, I mean, it says logo. Is there a company out there called Logo that makes locks that I don't know about? Now, I don't know, I don't know if that's, if that's what's happening here, but that's, I mean, it would kind of seem like that to me. The lock is so tight, it doesn't even have physics when you jiggle the door. Yo, what's going on? We're locked in here, bro. Oh, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me, lady. She did the PT thing where she's looking through a crack in the door, but then closes it when you are about to walk past. Don't you dare go out at night. Okay. All right, well, I, I was gonna go to bed anyway. I need to find a way out. You were, you were about to go to bed. What happened to going to bed? I need to find a way out. Was it this? Would you turn on the radio? I don't know. Uh, okay, here, a shower. I guess she's taking a shower right now, so we can go into her, <laughs> we can go into her red ass apartment where she's got severed limbs everywhere. Oh, severed hands, severed feet, severed legs. No reaction from our dear protagonist. Bloody sacks leaking blood into bowls on the floor. Oh, okay. oh, okay, it's okay, guys. We found a key. The shower's about to stop. It just stopped. What are we supposed to do? Do we just leave? Don't open. Don't open the door. Let me out of here. I gotta unlock the logo lock. The key doesn't fit. Hello? <laughs> okay. Oh, you can't even go- there's like an invisible wall here. Let's go to the bathroom, I guess. Oh my. So they, they've- they've killed again, have they? Jesus, I've got my headphones turned all the way up. Jeez, cause like the, the game's not very loud, but that was like insanely loud. Puppet combo, eat your heart out. <sighs> hey, wait a second, we have these same bloody bags in our room. Okay, um. So what? I got knocked out and put back in my room or it was all a dream or what? Do we still have that key? Okay, we open it to the balcony. Okay, we're here. I got an achievement. It's cozy in here. It's kind of annoying. Can I turn off that sound effect? You guys can hear that sound effect, right? Anytime I get an achievement, it goes like, boo -boo. I wish I could turn that off for games like this because it kind of ruins the mood. Actually, let me see real quick. Let me see if I can turn that off. Okay, I think I did it. Oh. Yeah, so uh, no more achievement sounds. I've already gotten five of them. I checked, there's only eight achievements in this game. So what are we already halfway through? Uh... What is the, literally, what is the point of this? Oh, it's just, it's just like really bad feng shui. <laughs> you walk in and this thing is in the way, this gigantic armoire. 
wardrobe, whatever you call it. I wish I could just die from the gas inhalation. Things have been weird in town lately. I feel like I'm in danger here. I have to finish the renovations and move out soon. Yes, I'm coming. Hello. Don't do that. Don't do the. Oh my God, come back. What, what'd I say? What's got you all upset? Huh? You want me to come in here? I'm coming. Here I come. Did you hear him sigh? He doesn't want me to come in. Oh, oh, you locked yourself in. Now, how did you do that? Uh, everybody wants my attention. Hi. Oh, and, and, and who did that? Where's the fishing line? This fridge is vibrating. Look at this. It's like a stalled truck. All right, what? Oh, very funny. Oh, I can't open the front door because it's boarded up. Right. You can come out now. Very funny prank, everybody. Or wait, is this the front door? Wait, what's this? There's flies in here. Dead bodies? Oh. Another key. This key's the same brand as the other key. Did you see somebody? They were they were peering around the corner. Oh my goodness. Now why did you go and do a thing like that? This is the same guy. The same guy from earlier in the bathroom. Do you see that? The fridge is opening and closing. Okay, wait, maybe we try the front door now. Oh, that doesn't open. This is the neighbor's apartment, isn't it? All right, uh, I mean, I guess I use the key on the lock in here. Will you close this, please? Wasting energy. Power bill is gonna be insane this year. This year, this month. Imagine getting a yearly power bill. That would be kind of overwhelming, I think. So what is this? Oh, you're blessing me with the world's tiniest flashlight. Actually, this is a, okay, this is actually a pretty good flashlight. Okay, actually, I've been, I've been taking the piss for like the last 10 minutes, but this is pretty sick, actually. Look at this. It moves with the mouse. It's not just like centered on the screen. That's pretty cool. Oh, I really like this flashlight. Yeah. I've seen so many horror game flashlights. You have no idea. And this is like among the best I've ever seen. This is pretty cool. Yeah, look at this. It, like, it feels like you have, it feels like gameplay, the flashlight, which is pretty impressive. It kind of, it, it's a little more immersive because this is how you would move a flashlight in, in true first person in real life. You know, it wouldn't just be stuck to the center of the screen like you would have in most horror games. That's pretty cool. All right, back to bashing the game. Uh, all right, so we need, looks like we need a code or something. Not bashing the game, I was just kidding. Back to not being impressed with the game. By the way, there was a guy hanging here, but it's just closed, don't worry. Can I help you? Okay. Very nice. Ew, cockroaches in the bathroom. Where'd you get that idea from? Cockroaches crawling around the bathroom? Oh no. The bucket on the ground is impeding my progress. I can't check the door over here. Maybe we go, maybe we go in here. Actually, I don't think there's anything in here, really. This is kind of one of those games where you just kind of walk back and forth over and over again until it ends. You just walk one direction until you can't anymore. And then if you can't figure out to do, you just walk the other direction. Okay, so I got the key in here, right? Or no, I got the flashlight in here. It's not like the flashlight's required for anything. It's just like, you know, an item get type of objective that lets the game know that you're ready to move on to the next sequence. 
Oh, look at that. There's a hint. It says backwards. Backwards. Okay. Corinne. I'm so I'm spelling something backwards. What would I excuse me? What would I be spelling backwards? Okay, maybe there's uh there's a clue for a five letter word. Neil Bog is goblin spelled backwards. I gotta watch Troll 2 again at some at some point. That movie is so funny. I like bad horror movies and, and Troll 2 is one of my favorites. If you haven't seen it, it's about um it's about evil goblins that eat people, but they're vegetarian, so they have to turn the people into plants first. Which is pretty good. It's a pretty good uh conceit. Ripe with a lot of uh potential funny scenes. Um, okay, what word? What word? Maybe that's what... Who ate all the food? Oh. Oh, you look on the back of the pictures. One of the issues with making a game like this where there's such low interactivity, you basically just click to open doors and pick up keys or, or read notes is that I just didn't think about looking on the backs of these pictures. Now, now that I'm looking at it, like the cursor pops up, right? A, okay, we're just gonna spell out the word, nice. But this is one reason. E, okay. I'm not really sure what the point of that was. One of the issues I have with uh, games with such low interactivity as this is, um, Deca, okay. Is that there's there's so many times when I wander around, I'm like, I'm not really sure what the game expects me to do. Cause a lot of times too, decay, got it. A lot of times with these games, like the puzzles are solved by walking like back and forth down a hallway, like I said. So sometimes you catch yourself like walking back down a hallway like three or four times, like well, shouldn't this start the next sequence? Because this is how you typically progress in these style of games. I've played a million games with this style of progress, and a lot of times the, the issues can be solved just by walking. Not this, I guess. Okay, it says backwards up there, but I guess that's... I guess you just spell it. Wow, the lock doesn't even come off. See, I saw this and I was like, oh, I guess that's a hint. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Cool. I'm in the trash room. We found a crowbar. We can use the crowbar on the wood. Monster? Monster? Just gonna open this. Thanks. Do you hear breathing? Thanks. <gasps> I heard another door open slowly behind me. I'm really impressed by this flashlight though. I will say that. I'm not a hater, okay? I, I'm, I have no problem complimenting a game when it has something that's deserving of uh, a compliment in my eyes. But yeah, that's about it for me right now. I will say the, the more I play, the more I'm not surprised at all that this is from the same developer as From the Darkness. It shares a lot of the same indie horror trappings that I resent. Okay. So if I call this video like Jump Scare Simulator number 835, are there going to be people being like, there's no jump scares? Gotta run. Oh, okay. What the? Oh, I should have gone the other way. All right, here it goes. All right. Um, wait, I don't remember doing this. Wait, are I supposed to get chased? Or is that here? That's here. 
How come I didn't see that thing earlier? Here it goes. Gotta run. This is very disorienting. The FOV is like a little too narrow for something like that, I think. There's no way out. Code 5913. <laughs> okay, 5913. I guess we go back. His title says jump scare simulator, but there were hardly any jump scares. Okay. It's okay, they they knocked us out, but then they safely deposited us back into the alleys. Do I go down or up? Now I'm on the street. All that's left is to find a way out of town. This guy just takes things in stride. First, he's here to find a cheap apartment. And he walks around, he's like, this place is filthy. I'm not going back there. Wait, so this is where we were? All right, whatever. And then now he's like, I want to get out of here. Go leave town. Why'd you ever want to go into town to begin with? Also, isn't this, wasn't this the most populated city in the world? How come it's like an empty indie horror environment? Uh oh, look at the color. You know what that means. <gasps> the ringing phone. Maybe it's somebody singing happy birthday to me. Yo. And here's the way out. But well, I need to find something to cut the chains with. Cut the chains with? What's it chained to? The concrete? It literally is. One of them's even chained to like a crack. All right. Um, there's something there, but I don't have the money. Oh my gosh. What? Okay. So... There's like a little handle or something, so I got so I gotta get money, is that what you're saying? I guess we'll go into this door that just opened up. No? That doesn't that doesn't open. Okay. It's okay. I don't mind having my time wasted. What's it called in ga game devs out there? Can you help me with something? What's it called when you the pace at which you walk up a stairs is like twice as fast as when you're walking around just on level ground. Cause I see that in games a lot. What causes that to happen? Is it because, is it because you move the same speed horizontally no matter what? And so then when you're going vertically, it seems like you're moving faster. Is that what it is? I'm probably didn't explain that very well. The elevator doesn't work. The generators are out of gas and the starter lever is broken. Wow, so many things need repair here. Thankfully, we're just the man for the job. A student looking for cheap housing. Now, where do I look for lever and gasoline? Well, we already saw a lever in the vending machine. You just need to get some money. Time to get that cashier job at Mickey D's. Start saving up the pennies. <laughs> this is what I mean, man. Four doors over here, none of which you can interact with. Um, It's just like... From a game design perspective, why go through the trouble of creating that little section with four doors and being like, I'm gonna place four doors here, cognizantly like designing it and being like four doors will go here and then you can't open any of them. It just seems like a waste of time. Why wouldn't you have the hallway just end there? You know, what would be the point of adding that area? Let me show you something. Look under the rock by the swing set. Okay. Who's leaving these notes? Open this fridge? No, you can't open this fridge, but you could open the other fridge, just not this one. Look under the rock by the swing set. Wow. Found it. 
Ha 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 ha. And now into the red refrigerator. I need to make I need to make like a like a horror game sins list because this would go on it. It, it. I would say just video game sins, but this is something I see in horror games a lot, like linear indie horror games. You pass the red refrigerator, you try to open it. There's no interaction option because you're breaking sequence, and then you find the note. Now you can look at the red refrigerator because, like I said earlier, it's kind of it's kind of it doesn't make much sense that you can't look in it. Because we could look in a fridge earlier. Now you might say, well, how else would you do working something out of sequence like that? Well, maybe design it so there's no sequence like that. You know what I mean? Do, do we have to open a red refrigerator? Like, is it really so important? Did you see that pine cloth in the yard? Don't you want to see what's behind it? Pine cloth. Where'd you go? Okay, he's out there. You mean this? Now, if we had tried to interact with this cloth before, probably there'd be nothing there. Or, or, or it wouldn't allow us to interact, right? Girl power. <laughs> okay. Don't you want to see what's behind it? Check it out, dude. Um... Okay, so there's, there we go. It's a beautiful hideout, isn't it? I was hiding here from all the horror that started happening in my family, and indeed in the whole city. It's good that there is not a single living soul left in Kowloon. This coin will be useful to you. Not a single living soul. Okay, I took the coin. So wait, is, is the coin for the lever? All right. Wait, can I, can I crowbar these? No? We just threw the crowbar away. No, no, the crowbar was for the last sequence, bro. Not this one. Okay, so how do I get back? Is it not that I want to get back necessarily? Yeah, because we still got to get a nut. We've got to get the lever, but then we've got to get something else, right? We got to get like one other. Oh, look, do you see him? See, stuff like that is cool, I guess. I like little subtle moments like that. There wasn't even like a loud jump scare sound for that one. It, they just let it play. It's just like, yeah, you see it or you don't. Okay. Something. Where was that light? Was it inside the fridge? There was a light that was blinking, but then there's, I don't see any light in there. I must have been inside the fridge. Uh, okay. Do you see them? No, come back. Just trying to open a door real quick. Do we follow them? Okay, I guess we'll just get the uh, lever. Might as well, right? You can't crouch, by the way. You have to get everything standing up. So I guess we just kind of like Jedi mind tricked that lever towards us just now. We use the force. No? Uh, here we go. It's bad. My little girl ran away from home. I don't know what's wrong with her. My wife hasn't come out of the bathtub in three days. Everyone around me is crazy. I don't know what to do. This gas from the pipes, I never noticed it before. I think it's all his fault. Help! The gas from the pipes? Does it kill you? Please tell me it kills you. Yeah, see, like, look. Look, look at the speed. Sorry. Okay, we'll try to get through this. The speed is a lot faster for going up the stairs than it is for walking in between them. They want to evict us from our neighborhood. The government is hiding the fact that we're dying here. Okay. And here's a canister of gasoline. What, where? 
They just kind of announced that way back there. When I didn't even know where the gasoline was at first. You hear that? Oh no, what's happening? Big jump scare, big jump scare happening. The sound, the sound clip just cuts out there. You can hear it cut out. I, it happened earlier, but I was like, I, I just won't comment on it. But it happened a second time, so I had to say something. Okay, wait, what's the gas for? Oh, now we go in here, I guess. Oh, here's the, here's the four pointless doors. Now I can't, I can't, I'm not saying anything. I'm not like accusing anything, but whenever I see something like this in a horror game, right? Like a, like a room like this with four doors or, or something excessive like that, where it's like, you can go in here, but there's nothing to do. You can't interact with the doors, can't open them, can't even, can't even jiggle them to be like, oh, they're locked or anything like that. And there's no point to it. It makes me think that this is an asset pack. I'm not saying it is, but this is the type of thing that makes me think that. Like a pre-made asset pack that was just copied and pasted in. And maybe not the whole thing, maybe it's just that room. I don't know. Okay, so we... we turn it on. Now we go in the elevator. He was a poofer. He appeared, and then he poofed. Okay, what? Uh, you just click on the panel. You don't click on a specific floor. So we could be going down, up. We could be going anywhere. Apparently we're going to the roof. That's what the achievement told me. Towards the stars. All right. Oh. Thanks for the bolt cutters. Okay, so now we go cut the chain. Okay, I'm uh I'm leaving. Okay, um, gotta remember where to go. I think we go down and then to the left. I do want to reiterate that I like this flashlight, genuinely. I think it's pretty cool. Hey, it's the doggo! The doggo that we fed earlier. Look, he's so happy. Isn't that nice? All right. Well, it looks like there's somebody hanging up there. Is it the same guy? Hey, that's that guy with the knife. Mr. Edgy. Oh, we've got a bunch of Mr. Edgies. That guy's just running around. Hi. Okay. Oh no. That guy's also praying. We already saw you earlier. Okay. All right, so we didn't see anybody until just now when we discovered the octuplets who are all staying around their underwear doing God knows what. Oh, okay, so now we run to the car. I got an achievement. Goodbye, Kowloon.
It's the ruins. Because the city was demolished. So let me get this straight. You went to a demolished ruined city looking for housing? Recently, there have been many reports to the police from people who have been to Kowloon. They say they have seen a city that does not exist. Kowloon Walled City, demolished five years ago, is one of the worst cities in China. Shortly before demolition, it had experienced a spike in crime and unwarranted murders. Completely unwarranted. <laughs> many believe that the government was willing to go to terrible lengths to demolish Kowloon. Well, now, was there any... What? Was there any need for that jump scare there? It just... Oh. Man, I... I gotta say. I gotta say. When it comes to... You know, I've played... One of the developer's previous works. From the Darkness. And I've played this. And, uh... You know, I know, I know these games are, are very popular for YouTube. I, at least From the Darkness was. I assume this one will be too. I've only seen a few people play it so far. Uh, on YouTube, but um, I gotta say I don't get it. I don't get the appeal. It's just like I feel like this is paint by numbers indie horror. Um, I do like the flashlight. I think the flashlight is really cool. I like the control that you have with it. It gives the area a really nice ambiance, really realistic. You know, and it and it's it sort of it, it helps that you can move your head camera and the flashlight independently because I feel like it improved the immersion. So I really like the flashlight. But that's really a, all about the positive that I have to say about the game. I don't have anything else, really. It's just everything else is... I mean, there's jump scares. Um, there's very low interactivity, which is a pain point for me as someone who's played a lot of these. Very low interactivity. I feel like uh, there's no real... Very, very low, very little puzzle design um, other than the lock that you had to... Spell a, num uh, spell a word backwards um, that you find clues to on the back of the pictures. The gameplay was uh, fetch quests and, and mostly grabbing keys, opening doors, sometimes walking back and forth down a hallway until the next event triggered. I just feel like there's nothing about that that's unique or interesting um, or that we haven't seen a million times before if you've played a lot of horror games. And uh, I feel like games like this just like from the darkness are overly reliant on jump scares you know and i i'm not a i'm not an anti jump scare guy okay don't get it twisted i i like jump scares i think jump scares have their place in games when they're used properly i feel like the jump scares in this game especially that last one is is a great exhibit a for this they were tacked on it was like like there was no need for that jump scare at the end during the exposition just let it fade to black you know what i mean like what is it adding it's not adding anything it's basically just like something scary hasn't happened in a while so boom um and the sound effects were like i mean they were like cranked way up everyone that's a common complaint with like puppet combo for example is that like you know it, it, when something happens like it you know it blares your ears out um i found that to be the case with this game all the, the difference is that the cause of the sound effect was often disappointing in puppet combo games when there's a loud sound effect it's like burr, 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 you know there's it's because the the crazy nun with the knife walks around the corner or a uh, dude with a chainsaw or a dude with a crowbar or, you know just a serial killer of some kind and then you have to the gameplay initiates you have to get away from them and here when it goes like burr, 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 it's just it's a poofer it's something that appears goes boo and then and then it's not there anymore and so i uh feel like the jump scares in this game are exactly how not to do it um but i think there are examples of games where jump scares work really effectively so i'm not an anti-jump scare guy i think it didn't work in this one uh yeah i don't know i'm just i think this developer's style is just not for me I get, I, th this seems like the type of horror game that's scary to people that don't play a lot of these. Maybe, maybe more inexperienced people in the genre. Um, maybe people that don't play a whole lot of horror games. Maybe they play like Resident Evil um, or like really high profile games. And then every once in a while they're like, let's check out the indie horror scene. And then they play a game like this or, 
you know, uh, summer of 98 or something like that. And they're just like, whoa, you know, for me, who's played, I feel like I've played this game a hundred times already, you know? And, and as for, as for the game setting in Kowloon, I feel like that was interesting and that's why I played it. Cause I, I find that to be an interesting setting, but they didn't really do anything with it. Um, there was a little like, like, uh, I don't know, political jabs there at the end, I guess. Uh, in terms of like you know the how the city ended up the way it did and the environment at the time and stuff but it just like this is known as as a very densely populated city and for the most part we were walking around completely empty environments what's with the landlady i was actually kind of interested there i'll be it was a little cartoonish when you walked into the landlady's room and she had severed body parts hanging from the ceiling from meat hooks but i I, I was just like, ooh, spooky landlady. And then spooky landlady appeared in the hallway, went boo! And then you were in a different setting. There was no, like, payoff to anything. They built up the landlady, and then the build up led to a jump scare. And then it was over, and then it was like, okay, go to your neighbor's apartment now. And then there's all this build up, and it leads to jump scare. All right, now go to the next area. So yeah, um, welcome to Kowloon. Nothing special. Kind of think I overpaid for it at seven bucks. Not not in terms of like the game length or anything. The game length was what like forty five minutes or so. Um, that's fine. You know, I I'm not one of those guys. It's just like I didn't get my money's worth. Uh, I didn't, I feel like I didn't get my money's worth not because of the length but because of the quality of the game. I feel like I could have just watched a let's play of this and gotten pretty much the same experience. So, and it, you know you can't say that for every horror game. This is exactly the type of game I'm talking about when I'm like, I want to try experimenting with other types of formats and doing other types of videos. It's because I can't just, I can't just do this. Like there's plenty of games out there. I can make like a daily video of, of a game like this. All right, well, let me know what your thoughts are and welcome to Kowloon. Um, if the comments and the feedback that I got on From the Darkness were any indication, I know a lot of you will disagree with me. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's videos, I'm sure, with hundreds of thousands of views more than this one, where, where the person that plays it is, like, shitting their pants. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of people out there with a favorable opinion on this. And then they'll come to this, and they'll think I'm being a stick in the mud. But I just feel like I've played this a million times before. So, that's my stance on it, and I'm sticking by it. But you're free, feel free to disagree. Let me know. All right, I'll see you guys later. Think critically.